Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. My name is Kyle and this is Vitalik. We are employees with lasertag.net, but don't let that name fool you. We do just a little bit more than produce laser tag equipment. We also produce inflatable bunkers, produce marketing material as well as return on investment. Mm -hmm. Return on investment, turnkey solutions for businesses and technical support. So what is the purpose of today's talk? Well, uh, like everybody else, we were unable to go anywhere and we weren't able to demonstrate our newest equipment. And so that's the purpose of today's event. We want to talk to you about our newest innovations and products for 2021. And here's the plan for the event. We'll start with Neutronic, the tactical outdoor laser tech system. Then we'll move on to Scorpion, a one of a kind shock band. From Air Bunker, we have inflatable bunkers and inflatable walls. For indoor laser tag, we got the Galaxy Eclipse and Galaxy Pulse, the new laser tag systems with unique features. And on top of that, we'll share our plans and new developments that laser tag industry will see by the end of 2020 and in the first half of 2021. That is, of course, the world doesn't end by then. But on a more positive note, we'll be giving away one of our most popular devices and that is a Smart Domination Box. Yeah, this device. The Smart Domination Box is the most popular device among all laser tech clubs. It can be used almost with any laser tech equipment. It works on a protocol Miles Tech 2. Yeah, that's right. This device can give you additional up to five, seven different game modes depending on uh, what equipment you're using and you can expand the games you can offer to your players. That's right. But not only will we be giving this Smart Domination Monks away, we will also be giving you a special offer, but it must be used by the end of 2020. Now, if any of you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments and our moderators will answer them for you. As for that, let's go ahead and move on to Netronic. Yep. And I'll share about Netronic. Okay, here are some facts about Netronic system. This system was released in 2019. It's a complete upgrade of the old tactical equipment. It consists of laser rifles, of heat fixing devices, game-based devices, software, and much more. At the moment, this system is used in 500 clubs all around the world and in more than 40 countries. Now, who is this equipment created for? It was created for people just like you. Owners of paintball clubs, airsoft clubs, basically anything tactical or outdoors. It could be for hotels or for camps, especially even for tournaments. Now, when we talk about a player's kit, it consists of a laser tag rifle, a headband, and a scorpion shock bracelet, which gives players just a little jolt every time they get hit. But we're gonna talk a little bit more about the Falcon rifles just now. Falcon is the main laser tech rifle. We've been designing and producing it since 2015. There are two models. Thank you. This is Falcon F2 with a longer shoulder stock for grown ups and adults. Its weight is 1.2 kilos, that's about 2.6 pounds. And the Falcon F1. For kids, young players, uh, the weight is about 900 grams. That would be two pounds. Uh, there are two colors, as you can see, the classic black and pixel camouflage. Uh, the main difference from Falcon F1 and F2 would be the size, weight, and the color, so the appearance. The electronics inside the Falcon body is spread out, so it gives you a good balance and a comfortable grip so you could play 
laser tag games in a row for two, three hours with any discomfort and you can enjoy them. Also, Falcon models, they have and they meet all the requirements for a rental laser tag business. They are safe, durable, they give new opportunities to players and benefits for business owners. These Falcon rifles are made from two monolithic ABS pieces of plastic. They are shockproof and they are going to survive even the harshest rental conditions. And so when you have those kids out there dropping these things, they're not going to be breaking on you. And speaking of kids, notice the streamlined shape. That means there are no sharp or protruding objects that are going to pop out any eyeballs, let's say. This gun is safe even in the most advanced infant hands. As for the electronics inside the rifle itself, they are mounted on secure brackets, so when they are dropped, none of the electronics are going to start moving around in there. And the electronics themselves are covered in several layers of protective varnish that meet an IP54 standard, so they are protected against the ingress of moisture. Now, all of these guns go through five stages of testing before it ever reaches your hands. The feature that players like most is the impulse rate coil. It was designed and patented by Lasertag.net in 2016. The impulse recoil goes in F1 or F2. It's placed in the front part of the Falcon. It creates an actual axial movement to the shoulder of the player and uh, it gives a wow effect in comparison to a standard vibration. So now uh, we'll show. Go, go, go! go. Oh, the lead. It is better than vibration in my opinion. I, I, I like it. Uh, me too. Uh, every time I go play laser tag, I, I want to have the impulse recoil because it gives not just the feeling, it well, it immerses it, you in the game. Yeah, that's, that's right. It immerses you in the game. But if you think it, that the battery life's going to drop, that's not... The Falcon F1 or F2 has two batteries. So the impulse recoil works independent from the Falcon itself. Each battery is uh, 2.6 ampere hours the capacity and you can work up to 24 hours. I want to ask our viewers, is there anyone who uses impulse recoil and what do you think about this feature? Maybe you prefer the vibration or the impulse recoil? I uh, would love to hear your feedback and comments. Uh, please write your comments. And now uh, I'll pass the Falcon F2 to my colleague Kai. That's me. Well, talking more a little bit about the Falcon rifles, uh, we're moving away from the OLED screen and doing IPS. So that means you're going to have better color saturation and the icons are going to be better in terms of their display. The screen actually shows three game modes for the players. So that's pre-game mode, the game itself and post-game mode with their statistics as well. Now, there is a service mode, and that is for all of the uh, moderators of the game. Each screen has a six millimeter thick protective glass, so that means it's not gonna be breaking on you. Falcon has built-in heat sensors. There are three of them. In the front part, on the right side, and on the left side. These sensors helps us to avoid blind fire. Let's say someone is behind a wall and they put the falcon and they're just shooting. So the other players can shoot to their falcon. There are several options. They can either deactivate the weapon so the player cannot shoot for several seconds or they can take the health units of this opponent. All these parameters can be set up in the application. Also, for business owners, uh, you can choose to play just with the Falcon. That's right. Uh, you take the Falcon, it has sensors, so you, could, you, you can use Falcon versus Falcon and you're shooting gun versus gun. Before starting any game, players can choose between the main and the secondary weapon. 
There are 10 default weapons available from sniper rifle, pistol, grenade launcher, uh, what else? A machine gun. Yeah, the, that's right, I, I like that one, the machine gun. And you can create even your own one. So this gives you dynamic to the game. You can create uh, wars, tactical games, and anything you want, even from video games. In conclusion, I would like to say that Falcon gives unforgettable experience and game emotions to players and for business owners because it withstands the toughest rental conditions and all the crazy kids that going going to play at your laser tag club. Okay, um, let's talk about the headband. And uh, my colleague Kyle will talk about the headband. You got it. So now that we're talking about the headband, you can use the headband and or the vest and they come in two colors. You can either have the classic black or the pixel color as well. Setting aside the Falcon, when we take a look at the headband itself, you might want a more military effect and of course it's better to use a vest with, you could even use a helmet. There are four sensors on the headband one of them is the control unit. When you hit a vest or a headband of your opponent, you will see the color of his team. The less will flash. And if you hit a specific sensor, you will see a white color blinking. Let's try. I'm in the blue team. This is the red team. Or let's find out what team is it. Okay, so now I've deactivated the player. It's blinking with white, and I will restart the player with a respawn. Go, go, go. Now, when I will shoot, what we see is a white LED blinking. It means that I shot this sensor, and other sensors are in red. So I know this is the red player, and I've shot this sensor. Each sensor has a vibration model. So, when I hit a specific sensor, I know it came from this side. It will vibrate from this side. Each sensor has two LEDs, RGB LEDs, and they are protected with a transparent case. If we take a look at this headband, this is the outdoor mode. And this headband is in indoor mode. It's called inverse. So during the game, all the LEDs are off. And in the indoor mode, all the LEDs are on. This is recommendable for indoor use or at night. Another very interesting game mechanic is shot through. And so what happens in shot through is, I'm player one, there's player two, but behind player two is player three. If I shoot player one, the bullet or the IR beam hits one of the IR sensors on the vest. That releases and shoots through the other player, and so then player three is hit. I shoot one, or I one shoot two, and two through the IR to the next iode, and that shot through. And a similar feature is the shock wave. The shock wave is available only in the granite launcher. So when you came to a club, select the granite launcher. It will give you a special power. So you got the Falcon, you are shooting to one player. The first player receives the maximum damage. After that, all the players that are around him, up to five meters, will receive a damage also. So imagine, you, there's a group of people, someone's in one place and other three players around him. So you got to shoot only one player and the other pl players will also receive a damage. Of course, the first player received maximum damage and every next player less damage. 
The vest and the headband can actually work independently from the rifle itself, and that's because each sensor has its own IR emitter. This opens up possibilities for, for example, five different game modes. The first being Zombie, where you can infect other players. The second is Medic, where you can restore the health units of wounded uh, friendlies. And then the next is Activator. And the Activator can respawn the players of your team. The fourth would be Target. So you place this headband anywhere or before the, the game and the players can aim their shoot and or just place it and let the kids shoot at the headband as a target. And the fifth mode would be Hostage. This is like your typical hostage situation. You wanna make sure you don't shoot the hostage. Now, of course, this works between one and 10 meters. You can, of course, set this in the parameter settings. The fabric material is Cordura Maxi, a wear-resistant material actively used in military industry that preserves an elegant appearance even during after years and years of rental. Each sensor is protected by a impact-resistant polycarbonate casing with a height of 6 millimeters and with an IP54 standard. One thing that you're really going to like about the Netronic headbands is each Netronic headband comes with two hygienic cuffs. Simply take the dirty one off, put the clean one on, and during the rounds, wash them. Now, they're made of an air mesh material. That means it's breathable and they're super comfortable to wear. Another thing that you're really going to love is this feature. Open up with a zipper and then you're able to access all the electronics inside. You can take them out so that you can wash the headband material itself. Now, if you feel uncomfortable doing this process, feel free to contact our customer support and they will help you every step of the way. The biggest polycarbonate body is for the control unit. So it's the power supply, it's heat sensor, and it's the brain of the Neutronic headband. The control unit has a power bottom, a sealed charging port, and a battery, lithium poly polymer. The lifetime is up to two rental days. And if you forgot to turn off the headband, we have a charging saver option. So you can set up a time in which the headband will shut down in 10 minutes, in 20 minutes after the game is over. Also, you can turn off the headband with pressing the bottom or using the new remote control. For example, I have the headband here and I will shut down it. I will shut down the Falcon also and the headband itself. As you can see, they are off. This was with the remote control. Also, with the app, I can turn off everything with just two clicks. Imagine you have 30 headbands and just two clicks enough to turn off everything. And they will be off. Okay, uh, pretty easy and a time saver option. Now, you can supplement or replace the headband using a vest. Now, the vest itself weighs about 300 grams, so it's not very heavy, actually. And the reason you want to use that is because it encourages players to aim more specifically, and that is called differential damage. So, for example, say you have a player and he's wearing a vest, and a headband. The headband, if shot, receives a damage of about 200%. Now, of course, you can adjust all these parameters, but for example, and the vest itself has two, the front and the back, and then you can set those to however you would like. Now, the class, the Netronic has two zones, but the tactical version has three, which is, includes two on the shoulders as well. The inner lining of the vest is made from a PVC material with a density of about 650 grams per square meter. It's going to be resistant to moisture and it's going to survive the lifetime of the rental. That's right. The vest and the headband are multifunctional, are the best and perfect solution for your laser tag business. Remember, they can be used autonomously from apart from the Falcon and can give new opportunities to your game scenarios and meet all your needs. 
So, apart from that, I would like to say that the headband and the vest can be used in a pair. Remember, a Falcon can have two devices. Now we're going to talk about Scorpion. Scorpion is a new device from Lasertag.net and Shock Fight is going to attract a more adult audience, more of your masochistic crowd, those who like paintball and airsoft, a little bit of pain with every shot. Well that's what this is going to do, it's going to increase the realism of the game and make players think twice before they act bravely. With this shock fight, it was of course uh, uh, created back in March of 2020 and has already become a very popular item. In fact, it's used in about 50 clubs around the world. Now, if you're one of those clubs, please write in the comments below so we can hear some of the stories that you might have. That's right. The player has a headband or a vest. Their sensor cap the head and then they transmit a signal to their scorpion. And the scorpion itself makes an electric impulse. Uh, it creates a muscle contraction. Uh, so it's like a golden line between laser tag and payball. So this shock fight, it's a game where you or any player has to use the scorpion. Okay? The scorpion has five levels. The first one is vibra. And then there are four levels of electric impulse from the lowest to the highest. Don't worry, we've tested all modes on almost every employee at our company. And do you want to test it? No. <laughs> uh, let's try it, okay? I just said no. Nobody listens to me. Okay, I got the Falcon F1. Uh, take your Falcon F2. Is that your headband? Uh, no, my headband is the Pixel one. I, okay. And, oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, you were saying? I put it on vibration. <laughs> cheater. That's a cheater. Yes, it is. By, for these occasions, we have the super feature where you can lock this bottom on the scorpion. So, there are two options. You can adjust it manually. Don't shut it. <laughs> Vibra, for example, and the second level of electric shock. Or I can use the app to set up the level of elect electric impulse, which I won't tell Kyle, and then I can lock the parameter so he can't change it. Change, change it. it. That's right. What level do you want? None. I told you. I don't want to. Okay. I'm not that masochistic crowd. I like laser tag just as it is. Go, 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 go. You're in the lead. You want to try? No. Okay. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Woo, I feel you it. Have you lost feel it? Yeah, I feel it. It's not so bad. That's that's the first level. What, that's the first level? Yeah. Okay, let's leave it there. Okay. All right. Okay, so now I will turn on the fifth mode, the highest. Really? Yeah. That'd be fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, I go to shock band. So here's it, and that was. Level 2, and now level 5. I will save. We can hear the sound, and let's try. Ow. <laughs> Do you feel it? Yeah, I feel it. It's strong. Yeah, yeah, it shoots up your arm. It's nice and fun. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And it's safe. We got certification for this device but with restrictions to age and medical yeah, conditions. Medical condition. Hard people can't, don't do it, if they die. That's right, and plus 18. Well, anyway, if we're talking about the Scorpion shock band in terms of its uh, components, the casing is actually made of a polycarbonate. It's not gonna fall apart or break. It can withstand a pretty good load. And the straps themselves are made of a polyester strap. So it's not gonna actually stretch over time. It's gonna withstand the life of a rental use. You could still be the first one in your region or city to have 
and offer the shock fight to your players. It's a unique, unforgettable, and it's for players who are wishing some adrenaline and some real fight. Remember that it's for grown-ups and adults, and you could be the first one to have it. If you have tried the Scorpion, please share your comments, feedbacks, and let's play! Wounded. You're in the lead. That was nice of you. The Netronic system, it's the heart of the whole thing, the software. Now the software itself can control everything. And I'm talking about everything from the player's kits to starting to ending scenarios, but also the club itself. It's fantastic and we're constantly updating it. So the Netronic app is so unique that you can take it anywhere. You just need the app, the router, a power bank, and you can go anywhere. That's all you need, that's right. And for all our customers and partners, the software is free. That's right. No extra charges, neither monthly, neither per year. So take the equipment and go anywhere you want. The, the app itself has a constructor of scenarios, right? Mm -hmm. uh, also, you can create players such as Zombie, Vampire, uh, Stormtrooper, Sniper, what else? These are like the default ones, but you can create new ones. On the app, I'll show the preset. That's the room where you create all these uh, characters. And there's also a place where you can create the scenarios. That's right. Yeah, there are more than 20 default scenarios. And if you have a friend nearby or someone that you know that also using Netronic system, you can send your scenario or character to him. For example, Kyle has a laser tag club in Miami, I have a laser tag club in Mexico City, and I can send him a scenario and he can send me his scenario. Live statistics are available on the tablet and TV out. So you can see the kill-death ratios of the players, and Vitaly is pulling up that information right now, so let's take a look. And when we see that a player is deactivated, the application reflects that information. So the TV out would uh, as well. Now if we talk about statistics, player achievements are also available. And here you are. Apart from the statistics, there's a place for the scenarios. So if we go to scenarios, uh, we could see default scenarios, but if I want to create mice, I go, I press the gear and this is what I see scenario description we can set the level the points for different action let's say for um, capturing the domination box or here's the points for different zone hits and the condition to finish the game for example one of the most popular is the battle royale or the one man standing. Also there are team general settings or team settings if you want to define different settings for each team. As well as additional devices can be added, uh, multi-station, smart domination box series. This is how easy, so you create once and then enjoy forever. Apart from that, uh, the same thing you can do with all the players. If the doctor, the one part, if you're gonna if you want to have several one parts, just modify one and the other will have, for example, different health. Currently the Netronic platform runs on Android 10 and below. Now, everything works off a of Wi-Fi router, so internet connection isn't necessary at all. Uh, and the radius for the Wi-Fi router is about 150 meters. However, you can increase that up to one kilometer using repeaters. Is it repeaters or transmitters? Transmitter. Because I don't know very much about electronics, but this guy does. Yeah, each transmitter has a radius of 150 meters per radius, so if you know math, you can scale it and get your coverage area. Mm -hmm. 
Now, also, if for, the, for some reason the connection information is lost, like you, you lose signal between the gun and the Wi-Fi, don't worry, the statistics of the game are stored in the rifle itself, so that means when the connection comes back, so is the statistical information. Also, using this, you're able to turn off everything in a matter of two clicks. That's right, and also all the firmware upgrades and the software upgrades are made online through air. You just need to contact our support or contact your local tech support and they will help you. The software is multilingual, available in seven, in seven different languages. The first one is Espanol. English, of course. Тоже на русском языке доступно. Deutsch. Українською мовою. And forgive me, my Korean's bad, so Korean. Euh, en français aussi. I would like to say that the software is simple to use and it gives everything you need for the start. Manual instructions for all the laser tech stuff and for the business owner to control every game and you save time. This is a safe timing software where you can prepare the day before and then have all the day running laser tag, more games, more money. We also are unceasingly updating our software, so a new firmware update should be coming out soon. Be looking out for that. Also, the headband and the vest, their batteries have been optimized by the way of the circuit board. Also, the shock band bracelet, Scorpion, is getting a new uh, wristband, so it's actually going to be easier to tighten. And uh, new scenarios will be coming out for shock fight. Also, a new arsenal of laser tag rifles will be coming out next year. We'll be uh, looking forward to that. That's right. Many constant updates. And for the software, we also have a gift. We're developing laser tag operator for iOS. Our customers can choose any device they prefer to operate at their laser tag club. Also, the software itself will have new characters new scenarios so you can attract different players, different audience to your club. This is an application that everybody's went, been waiting for. That means with this you're going to be able to see your world ranking not only just in the club but in the world itself. So everybody who's using the laser tag operating app will be able to save their previous scores and statistics and see how they stand against others. Yeah, I will have my personal world ranking. That's right. But let's go ahead and get started with mobile units. Apart from laser tag equipment, we also manufacture inflatable bunkers and inflatable walls for paintball, laser tag and archer tag. The mobile outdoor business model is becoming more popular nowadays due to all social distancing and corona restrictions. So, with a mobile set you can create a laser tag field almost anywhere where you can play. Uh, for example, it can be in a forest, in a soccer field, in a backyard, or at your school, even though camps, all different places where you can put the inflatables. And what you can do there, uh, you can make a birthday party, bachelor party, uh, you, you can even make a tournament at your neighborhood, set up the inflatables and ask all the kids to come down and make laser tag games. That's right. There are different ways and really interesting because different inflatable sh shapes and everyone has their own unique like 
sense so they can create any business they want. They're pretty interesting. Now for transportation of these shelters, we recommend using an SUV or a minivan. And to help carry the inflatable shelters, we got bags for you. They can hold about 10 inflatable shelters at one time. Setting up a mobile arena takes only about 40 minutes. That's quite time saving. Uh, we also provide uh, marketing materials to advertise your business. Now that's it for the outdoor mobile units. Let's go ahead and move indoors with Galaxy Pulse. Arena laser tag equipment, in some countries also known as QSAR, indoor and traditional laser tag equipment. This type of system we've been manufacturing since 2015 and by this time we have six generations. Each of them has exceeded the previous one with new features and new capabilities. At this moment we have over 100 laser tag arenas all around the world. Okay? The game kit of the Galaxy platform consists of a blaster and a West. They are connected by a solid cable and this is a player's game kit. Remember that laser tag arena games are held in low light mazes. So the West and the blaster, they have to have a bright, bright illuminations. Okay? There are two Galaxy systems. The first one is Galaxy Pulse and the second one Galaxy Eclipse, both released in 2020. So let's go ahead and get started with the Galaxy Pulse system. This is one of the world's best arena laser tag weapons on the market today. Now the dynamic feature about this is its lighting, not only uh, because of the shell, it's made of a polypropylene and the purpose of which is that you can see the lighting and the function. So. Every time that one of the uh, customers fires a shot, there is that lighting that follows that shot. This is gonna make it really interesting for players whenever they're in that low light setting of a maze. That's right. Apart from the light illumination, each shot is accompanied by a recoil. That's right. Do you hear that sound? That's a recoil. Similar to an electronic platform, uh, each shot, no matter if you shoot once or twice or even infinite magazines you have, you will, you will feel the recoil in the blaster. Apart from that, uh, the player has the display where he can see all the statistics, the time, there's a game mode, service mode, and all the parameters required to operate the blaster and for the player to know all about the game. It's worth mentioning that we have a low budget Galaxy equipment, the Galaxy Classic, with the same functionality, same features, same appearance, same blaster and West, but with no recoil. Mm -hmm. Now, when we start talking about the features of the rifle, there, the cable that is connected to the vest is reinforced. So uh, it's also designed with comfort in mind so that players are not gonna be getting stuck on uh, things or getting tangled up within themselves. The vest uh, material is made of a Cordura Maxi. It's going to survive the harsh environments of the maze, so that means when players are bumping into things, it's gonna be all right. Now the vest lining itself is actually moisture and odor resistant, so it's pretty simple to just take a sanitary wipe and clean off the inside and hand it back out because it's ready to go. The polycarbonate housing of the LEDs protects from impacts and it's a live diffusing shell. Remember, you're playing in a low light arena, so the west has to be really, really bright. Also, to adjust the size of the west, there are straps, but first uh, we can clip the blaster and then adjust the west size. So we have uh, on the front part and on the left and right side so you can adjust to any height and shapes so you, at your arena can play kids and adults anyone now when we talk about controlling the uh, arena kits 
you, all you need to do is use the Windows application. To do that, you can set up all of the kits, plus you can use ready-made scenarios. Now, if you don't like our scenarios, you can use the scenario constructor and make your own. As for player statistics, everything is recorded, uh, so all of their personal achievements plus their activities during the game can be printed on a special letterhead and kind of encourage that competitive spirit that lives within them. Uh, also, I don't think that uh, there's anything else to say. No, what? Oh, uh, that's right. Go for ahead. business owners, we have the fiscal statistic. So you can track every game, every game kit with their ID. So this prevents from unauthorized games, no free games, and you control all the time all the games at your arena, so you know the time and you, you know the money, the, the income. Galaxy Pulse was created with you in mind, and it was done based on our years of uh, game kit development. And it has proven over the many years of its existence to be a reliable foundation for a new business. And if you're already using the Galaxy Pulse system, please let us know what your impressions are of it. But next, we're going to be talking about the Galaxy Eclipse system. It's the newest thing for 2021, so stay tuned. Galaxy Eclipse. Yeah. yeah. That's the feeling of the new generation of LaserTech Arena. Wow. This is the flagship product of LaserTech.net. We've been working on, hardly working on this product for over three years. And in 2018, the first time we, we showed our prototype uh, at one of our expos at Ayapa and maybe is there any one of the viewers who remember or saw the first prototypes if you saw it or you shared some comments uh, please write, write down below and I would like to emphasize that while developing this uh, game kit we took into account like multiple multiple feedbacks from business owners laser tag players and all their experience. So this is uh, the, the result of years of experience, not only ours, but only yours. And let's start uh, the, uh, talking about this equipment. Um, first of all, uh, I would like to start about the blaster because we paid a lot of attention to the blaster. If you see, there's the form factor of the Falcon but with a smaller version. So remember, you're playing in a low light arena and the safetyness of the players and the comfort is the number one rule for uh, laser tech arena. The Falcon Eclipse, it's 40 centimeters long. It's about 15.7 inches. Um, the front part is made of uh, composite rubber. It absor absorbs all the collisions. It warns you if you're hitting things too. That's right. The front part has a special rubber that flashes uh, the color of your team. For example, I'm blue. And you're red. And of course, we have the laser beam that you can see in a dark a maze with UV and special smoke. That's right. All right. Now, when we start talking about the rifle itself, there's a powerful vibration in the stock of it. And so every shot, you can feel it right pressed against your shoulder. As for the uh, screen itself, we've got the IPS display, uh, and it's an upgrade from the OLED display. And some of the advantages of it we'll talk about in just a moment, but one of the main differences uh, in the Galaxy Eclipse is that now you have additional parameters as well as the ability to see uh, the player's superpower that they have. Uh, as I said, some of the benefits are that you have better color saturation, you're able to see it from wider angles, so players are more aware of what's going on from the information presented on their rifle. Uh, it is also protected with a 
a six millimeter thick glass. So it's going to be strong and it's going to endure the worst that your players can throw at it. The blaster and the west are connected by a reinforced cable. The cable itself is mounted on special overlays inside the blaster and the west that prevents breaks, bendings and kinks. So it's durable for any laser tag or games and actions that, that can happen at your laser tag arena. The vest itself uh, has a V-shaped size, a form, and the size is also suitable for different heights and shapes. The lining and the vest uh, material on the front is eco leather, uh, we choose eco leather because of its uh, good appearance, its durability, and uh, easy maintenance. Take a sanitizer and swipe the west to prepare the west for the next game. The lining itself does not absorb the odor or the moisture. It's made of PVC material and it's also easy to maintain. Also in the vest itself on the back, there is a powerful vibration module. So every time a player is hit, it really does send a shock to them to remind them not to get hit. And uh, also, whenever we talk about the blaster and vest itself, there's this smart illumination technology. And uh, that is because of the coordinated work of over 50 LEDs. So, different game events like coming into the lead or uh, shockwave is going to be visible in the display of the vest. As for notifications, there are three speakers, one in the rifle itself and in each shoulder. It's like being in an IMAX theater with surround sound. Every notification is going to be clearly heard and uh, there shouldn't be any misunderstandings. During the game, the players can activate a superpower. 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 There you go. That will give you a boost for several seconds, or it depends as you establish, at the moment we have five superpowers. That's right, it's the unique feature of Galaxy Eclipse. Let's start with the healer. A healer can give health units or lives to his uh, teammates and to opponents, depending on the features that you select in the software. Uh, what other superpowers we have? Well, we also have shield. And the shield gives you temporary invulnerability. So you're able to run out to the other team, maybe steal their flag to take it back to your side, or go in and do as much damage as possible. And as I said, it gives you a temporary invulnerability. The next one is Bomberman. This player has the ability to create a shockwave around him in a radius of five meters. So, no matter if it is teammates or openings, everyone who's around him in the zone will lose his health units or be deactivated completely. And you can stop his shockwave uh, by shooting him, and if he loses his lives, you have five seconds. Mm -hmm. The next one is Ninja Mode. And in Ninja Mode, all the interactive features of the uh, vest and uh, blaster itself turn off so you become invisible in the darkness of the maze. That means you're able to sneak up on opponents and score some more points for your team. However, every shot is still accompanied with the red dot, so expect to be seen when you shoot. The last superpower is super damage. This player receives an ultimate weapon and with only one shot you can eliminate any any player in the laser tech arena and of course your teammates but only if the friendly fire is on now that's true unless the player has the superpower shield in which case if i were to activate that you wouldn't be able to uh, destroy me either with a uh, bomber man or super damage okay let's try all right so i'll go ahead and put on the shield Oh, you ready to go? Yeah. All right. 
Nothing. As we can see, I'm shooting the front part. Let's shoot the back. Mm -hmm. Reload. The flashing sensors means that he's having the shield. After they stop flashing, it means that the shield is gone. And on the screen of the player, uh, you can notice whether the shield is on or it's off. Okay, so this, this shield is deactivated now and I will use the super damage. Okay, and and I'm dead. With one shot. Mm -hmm. Well, there goes your superpower. Speaking of superpowers though, which one's your favorite one? I think the ninja. You like the ninja mode? Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know what's right. I, I think I like the invulnerability, just because you're able to run out into the field and no one can kill you. You can go get the flag or domination box, uh, or just rack up points by taking out targets. But, what about you guys? Which one is your favorite superpower? Please write in the comments below and uh, maybe you see you, that we're missing something. So go ahead, let us know what you would like to see in the new Galaxy Eclipse. And if you want to know how the superpowers works and what parameters you can install, I'm showing now in the application. For example, we go to the superpower, uh, we see all the five superpowers and also the random option. So any of the five superpowers can be deactivated or activated in, in any sequence. Also there's activation time. It's the time you need to press and hold the sensor in the front of. There's activity time. The time uh, you have to use this superpower and the record time after you've used your superpower, how much you need to wait until the next superpower. Safety has become really important to us and we know it's important for you. And that's why we have two safety features. We have the two hand sensor, which requires players to hold the, hand, the, the rifle with two hands, otherwise it will not fire. The second is the stop aggression technology. So when a player swings the rifle, it makes an angry noise, gives a notification on the screen, and the instructor is able to understand which player is doing that so that he can stop such barbaric behavior. Also, we want to talk about the pedometer system. So uh, as a player takes steps around the arena, it is tracking every step that he takes and every move that he makes. So we'll be watching you. Now, also, this keeps players from staying in one place, as we call it in the video game industry, camping, because you don't want players sitting in a corner shooting everybody that runs by. So there's a setting that you can uh, put in the application that players will lose health points if they stand in one place for too long. To operate the Galaxy Eclipse system, all you need is a tablet and our software. By the way, our software is free of charge with a free license. What, free license? That's right, uh, we, we have free licensing and almost nobody has. Yeah, I was going to say, like, every other person charges to use the software, but we don't? That's wow. right. Wow, we're like Santa Claus or something. <laughs> With this application, you can run the Galaxy Eclipse literally anywhere from your arena, sitting at the sofa, taking a coffee and watching all the, all the players there. You are no longer attached to an administrator desk. At the moment, the Galaxy Eclipse app is available on Android platform and the next year it's going to be for iOS also. And the laser tag operator app has all of the benefits of the Netronic system plus many more. So you're going to have all of the player statistics as well as their personal achievements. The uh, what? What else is there? Also uh, team. Oh yeah, you have the uh, team constructor. Uh, you can organize the teams uh, as you see fit. Plus scenarios. You have ready-made scenarios and the scenario constructor. 
There are also characters like uh, zombie, vampire, medic, sniper, things like that. Now, of course, if you don't like ours, you can create your own and you can do all of that in the application. And one of the cool features about this thing is you can turn off all of the kits in just two clicks. One of the differences between the Netronic and Eclipse uh, versions is that the ability to create games and characters with the superpowers. So you can give them superpowers by default and uh, to create games specially designed for small areas and uh, avoid ricochets and low light laser tag arenas. What's in the near future? I don't know. Anything could happen. The world could end for all I know. But I do know what we're doing right now and that's what we're preparing for the future. We're working on different game mechanics and scenarios because the Galaxy Eclipse system has so much potential and we want to make it as fully realized as we possibly can. Now, as for all the different generations of the Galaxy equipment, be looking out for that. We are working on their compatibility. So you'll be able to play in the arena with multiple generations. This equipment is some of the most technologically advanced material on the market today and it's only gonna get better. Now, if you saw something you liked, please comment below, let us know what you thought. But if you see we're missing something or would like to see something that we don't already have, do the same. And if you are one of the first customers with Galaxy Eclipse that already are using all these features, please let us know and share a link to your website, social media, and we're gonna make likes. If you want to show all the game events to visitors and players, you can use our TV Output app. That's right, it shows live statistics and all the game actions that are happening inside the laser tag field. Let's say somebody is passing by your laser tag club, he or she can be attracted by, by what's happening there and the players who are waiting for their turn to play, they will not get bored they will be anxious about playing. The TV output application can be installed in an Android box and then connected to a TV or a separated tablet, for example, if you are in outdoors. Uh, this means that this application can be used whether for the tactical laser tag or arena laser tag. A any laser tag business you have, you can show the live statistics to players. The players itself, they can see their statistic, their points, achievements, also the points of their team, and the previous game, for example, the game is stopped or you're running, you can compare the scores to, of the previous game. And what's more important, you can see what's happening right now in this second, all the actions, who's shooting who, and the, the action, for example, if we capture the base or Kyle deactivated our opponent and all these kind of game notifications. The background of the TV Out application is fully customizable. If you don't like the current background or the default background, you can set up your own, whether it registers your local arena or maybe some pretty pictures of mountains. If you don't like uh, that, then fine, I don't care what you think. But the players do, and they love it. It's for the audience, it's for them. And, you know, they feel like they're involved, and that's the point. It's meant to engage the audience, those who are outside and watching. Just to pull them in and want to be a part of the action. So with the TV Out application, you can publish everything and live events. So you're seeing what's happening in the game right now. And you can do that all with the TV Out application. Now that's great for the audience, but players tend to love them game-based devices, them scenario devices. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about those next. The 
game-based devices are used to improve the ready-made scenarios that we already have and to give more dynamic and new opportunities to players and for you to create any laser tag scenario that you would like, for example, based on a video game or any requirements your players want to have in a laser tag game. We have three universal devices. It's Smart Domination Box, Series and the Multi Station. So let's start with one of the most popular and dynamic devices. I'm talking about the Smart Domination Box. It's used almost in every laser tag club. And well, the Smart Domination Box is actually one of the first devices on the market to have this visual capture. And it works in five different modes from tug of war, capture by time, raise the flag, triple capture, and capture by shots. Now, all of these scenarios are in the laser tag operator. You can just click on that and it will work just as fine. Uh, but you can also customize all the parameters in the settings. Now, the bright LED scales are one of the man-made objects that can be seen from space. And what I mean to say is that it is super bright. Your players are going to be able to see from even a great distance the level of the scale and know the progress of the game. Also, the Smart Domination Box has a powerful speaker on it, so they're going to hear all the game notifications such as team change, you know, in the lead or having uh, the flag raised and things like that. Uh, it's also important to note that the Smart Domination Box works autonomously. You can place this thing anywhere on the field, it doesn't need to be plugged in, and you can work with it anywhere on the grounds. That's right. Take it whenever you you want and place it there. Uh, the domination box can be used in a group, uh, or domination box number one, two, three, and four, so they can have a, a general statistic or personal domination box statistic. Uh, the battery life is up to one um, day, I mean about 24 hours, but it's uh, two rental days, so if an average eight, each, eight hours each day. It's uh, easy to grab and, trans and transport. So uh, let's let's see one of uh, one of the modes. Uh, I choose my favorite one, the tug of war, where you can see the scale, whether one team is winning or other team is winning. And one cool feature about this is even if your teammates are, are eliminated, are you if you are alive, you can still win because. Uh, here matters the time you should want and you you need to control it and keep the opposing team from shooting it and making the scale move right. in their direction. Let, let's see how it works. Uh -huh. The game is control point is captured. Uh, as you can see, uh, Kyle is in the red team. Uh, he has captured the domination box. It's flashing, and now here we have one minute. So when the one minute is over, we'll see all the uh, the lads complete in red. But I I will not let him win. So I'm in the blue team. And uh, now my team is winning. So I can see uh, approximately 60 um, percentage of red and 40 of mine. 50-50 were. The control point is captured. Now red team is winning and the team wins when all the scale is filled 100%. And after that we'll hear a sound notification. Let's go ahead and get started now with Sirius. This handy little device, it's portable and compact size means that you can place it anywhere on the field and depending on the mode that you set it in it could be any number of things between a med kit ammunition point base or flag point and uh, players can interact with it simply by standing near it shooting at it or pressing on it that's it for example this is the blue base so a player of the blue team can stand nearby the series 
and wait until all the scale is full and receive his emanations or lives or to respawn. But there is also other function to interact with the series is by pressing. So I don't need to wait, I can press it. I can press it. So this is also to give dynamic to the game so you can set up a series in some dangerous place and you need to run over there, you press it, hear the sound notification and go back to the game field. All, all, the, all the actions such as receive ammunitions, health, bonus, anything can be interacted with the hand or shooting to, to it. Yeah. Uh, the device itself is uh, hermetic, it has the IP54 standard and you can play in, in snow, in, in, in a little bit of rain and humidity or even in, in, in cities and countries where the temperature is really high. So, Take the series whenever you you want and and play. Mm -hmm. Well, and also because of its compact size, you're able and autonomous power supply, you're able to put it anywhere on the field, just as you would with the smart domination box. And the bright LEDs uh, clearly display all all eight of the different uh, modes that it has. Because of the compact size of the series and its autonomous power supply, you're able to place it anywhere on the field. Uh, and you can set up as many as you want. Uh, also, the bright LEDs on the display uh, show all eight modes of the Sirius without any problems. Uh, if you want to change any of the settings, go ahead and do that in the laser tag operator. That's right. Uh, everything is uh, shown here. For example, the middle lets show the color of the team. It can be red or it can be all the four colors, yellow, green, red and blue. And uh, the, the color of the scale shows the different mode. For example, this is white, it means the base. As mentioned before, Sirius is a game-based device that is like a support for all the teammates, but now uh, we've integrated the 8th mode, it's called Capture the Flag, and Capture the Flag itself has three uh, dynamic systems, so it can be a race against time, or deliver the number of flags, or, or capture all the flags, depending on the needs, how it works. So um, basically you take uh, one series, and you take the second series and that's enough to play with the capture the flag but this mode is gonna be difficult if you place the two series really too far on the edges of the field why uh, because when the player's running to the series uh, he has to shot to it to grab the flag yeah when i grab the flag uh, all my leds will be flashing off a purple color that means that I have the flag and I can continue playing. Uh, Kyle, for example, when he see that I have the flag, he can uh, eliminate me and I will lose the flag, then I will need to return back to the base and take the flag once again. So I want to take his flags, I run to his base, shoot and then return back to my base and I need to deliver. So I shoot to his base to take the flag and shoot back to my base to deliver the, ba the flag. Uh, together you can use up to 16 series together and they can be used uh, simultaneously as you want. For example, there, there can be two, two flag points, so you can take from one and from second one and operate as you want. I also want to mention that you shouldn't confuse capture the flag with raise the flag. With capture the flag, you take the flag from the base and take it to your base. Where with raise the flag, it's captured by shots. And we're using a smart domination box to shoot until the scale goes up and you have raised the flag. So that would be the difference between those two. Let's move on to the third device. 
and it's a hybrid between the Smart Domination Box and the Serious Station. It has also his proper unique uh, game features. The multi-station can be used like a bomb, a base, or a checkpoint. Now, one of the unique features of the multi-station is its large display. Now, there are seven different game modes that it can be set in, and there's seven different animations, which can make it easier for players to see because of how big it actually is. That's right, the big LED display gives a high-quality animation and the player understands what they have to do, either to approach, shoot at the multi-station, or run away from it. Uh -huh. For example, here we have the bump mode. Uh, the red team has to place, and I have to defuse the bump. That light is killing people. Oh, that's right. The bomb has been planted. We hear the two loudspeakers that the countdown. And on the blue team, I have to defuse the bomb. Also shooting to it. And now let's explode the bomb. Uh, please shoot again. Oh, again. Reload of ammunition. As you can see, there's visual and audio notification. It moves. The same happens with other modes such as ammunition, that you see the bullets coming and replenishing the ammunition. And uh, after the countdown is over, you will hear a sound. And also, you can put your own music for the explosion. Ready? And that's how it works. So, uh, did you feel the vibration? I certainly did. Yeah, and apart from our loudspeakers, the multi-station has two loudspeakers that makes uh, different notifications about different events, for example, as the explosion of the bomb or the, the control point capture. The multi-station doesn't have an autonomous power supply, so you have to plug in the multi-station before the start of the game. Um, we recommend choosing a spot for the multi-station in your laser tag field and depending on the laser tag uh, game, mm -hmm. uh, you can change the multi-station and choose the best uh, game uh, mode for the multi-station and its best spot. All of these game-based devices can be fully customizable, and each of them has between five and eight different modes. All the points in the laser tag operator can be adjusted to whatever you want, and that means you basically have an unlimited number of games that you can make. In the future, we'll be coming out with new scenario-based devices, so if you want to know more about that, They'll be conceptually new and have different functions. Uh, follow us on social media to learn more about that. Now, of course, if you have any questions or comments about our current devices, please let us know in the comments below. Next, let's move ahead to what we're coming up with in the works. Right now, we have a lot of stuff in the development. However, they won't be ready until 2021. Now, not all of them. Some of them will be ready by the end of this year and this is our gift to you and your players. Developments and innovations. Let's start with the app for everyone. That's right, an app for every player. Many business owners ask us to make an app 
where they can interact with their customers so they can stimulate their laser tech activity and they can make uh, them return back again and again and the players they can compete with other players all around the world and keep a track of all their laser tag games and statistics well just as vitalik just said the pers the purpose of this application is to keep track of statistics as well as player rankings and club rankings now eventually we would like to make this application uh, a worldwide uh, ranking so that you can see where you stand with other players around the world. Now the purpose of this application is to awaken the player's instinct to compete and we think that this application is definitely going to do that. Now if you would like to be one of the beta testers of this application let us know and we'd be happy to let you give it a try. Here will be a screenshot of the application, so it's like a preview, so you could get know the and be the first one to see how the personal app looks like and all the features. And our next innovation would be the C20 charger. Uh, the newest one that we're going to come out with will be new and improved for fasti faster charging of your devices and script devices. It will have two amps of charging power for faster connection and a metal body, improved cooling to avoid overheating while charging all the 20 devices, a large cable so you can mount, easily mount the C20 on, on one place and the large cable can connect up to the uh, farthest device. And as I said, mounting, you can place it anywhere. It has a compact size and it uh, will fit in the design of your arena. At exhibitions and online, people have requested for a grenade, some sort of tactical grenade for laser tag. And we thought it was a good enough idea that we are working on several prototypes at this time. Now, whatever we do end up making, it'll be as and uh, close to the combat equivalent as, as possible. Uh, and we're gonna make sure that it is shockproof, durable, and going to handle all those throws and drops. Um, but there are some things that we would like your input on. Uh, one of them being the color of the device. Maybe you don't like this particular color, uh, but we wanna hear what you have to say. Also, the way to activate the uh, tactical grenade, either by pulling a pin or pressing some sort of button. So if you have an opinion or you would like to see some ideas about this being put into action, write it in the comments below, uh, because we would definitely love your help finding out. Many of our partners wanted to expand their business and so they started getting into more services and that's why we started doing VR. We're new to the VR business but with the experience in laser tech field we want to create a unique and a product with no analog in the market so it can give a full freedom to the player with a realistic uh, laser tech gun and you will feel the impulse recoil also you will have the electric impulses when you receive a hit and uh, all these combined with the VR that's right so while having the, the game kit and free roaming no connected any cables nowhere any computers additionally only the helmet you can play uh, with a realistic gun and be in the virtual reality now of course we need to hear from you guys any of your thoughts and suggestions on which direction to move with this virtual reality because you guys are going to help us point in the right direction for tactical laser tag we have two laser tag rifles prototypes. As you can see, they are similar to the Galaxy Eclipse Blaster. That's right, they are two models. With the long shoulder stock and with the short one, they are made of black ABS plastic and in the forehand uh, integrated rubber tip of black color. Also, the second hand sensor will be available, available as an additional option. And in the front part, there will be the same illumination with the color of your team. 
same technology, IPS display, and we're thinking about the recoil or the vibra. Um, we don't know which one we'll put, but um, please let, let us know which one would you prefer and if you have any other suggestions and recommendations for the future laser tech rifles. Well, we're already in the middle of creating these new laser tag rifles, and you can look for them by the end of 20, uh, by the second half of 2021. Uh, we're trying to make something that is going to capture the imagination of our visitors and really get them immersed in these games. Now, when it comes to product innovation and these kinds of things to look forward to, it's good to stay connected with us on social media. So be sure to do that so you can be one of the first to get one of the new uh, laser tag rifles from us. All of our products and innovations were created with our customers in mind. You don't succeed, we don't succeed. And we want you to have a competitive advantage over your rivals. Um, all of our products are based off of your input and your feedback, and we can't do that without your help. So if there's something you'd like to see in our products that we didn't already mention, please let us know so we can work on those innovations and present them to you and put them into our newest products. The link for the personal offer and the beta version app will be in the description under this video. Please follow attentively the instructions to receive all the information. And we are really, really close to the giveaway of the Smart Domination Box. Now, like most of you, we were unable to go to any of the major exhibitions in either the United States or Europe. But uh, that's the reason we held this online event so that we could show you some of our newest and greatest products. Now, we hope that next year will be just a little bit better uh, and we wish to see you uh, in spring 2021 in Dubai. It's time for the Smart Domination giveaway. The rules are pretty simple. Write a comment below the video, not the chat of the online event, in the comments be below the video. Then uh, tell us what innovation you like the most and what features or hardware software you would like to see in the next offline exhibition or the next event and the comment that gets most likes by December 25 will receive this Smart Domination box. Mm -hmm. So please like and comment below. Cheating is strictly prohibited. You will of course be disqualified if we figure that out. And as my good friend Vitalik already said, the giveaway will be announced on Christmas. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we really appreciate your time and we hope you like all the products and innovations. If something is not clear, please comment below and we'll explain more detail. That's right. Thank you all for joining us. It was glad to see you here, even though I can't see you, but you can see me. So thank you all again and be looking out for all of those new and upcoming updates from lasertag.net. That's right. And thank you, Kyle, also. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. Yeah. See you.